Hi, my name is Keith from the Start.ca Service Desk, and today I'm going to talk about why we recommend using a separate modem and router and not a modem router combo. For convenience, other internet providers may encourage customers to use a router modem combo. It can simplify installation and setup. It also takes up less space. There's a trade off though. The router component included in the combo tends to have less power and fewer features than a standalone router might. One of the main drawbacks is that many two-in-one units use a slower grade of Wi-Fi connectivity like G connectivity instead of more modern standards like N or AC. This can make your network painfully and unnecessarily slow. And since combo units are about the same size as a standalone router, some valuable functionality may be sacrificed to make everything inside fit. This means combo units are more prone to performance issues which can be difficult to diagnose and even harder to fix. Troubleshooting combo units can be limited as well. The device management software can be very basic and there aren't usually a lot of options available that would help you get the best out of your internet connection. Compared to a standalone router, two-in-one units don't usually have premium features such as media prioritization, parental controls, and external printer networking. Another thing to note is that you can't update the software on most cable modems and this limitation could block future updates to the router portion. When it comes right down to it, most people who use a separate router enjoy a better connection and a better internet experience. And isn't that what everybody wants? Remember, when shopping for a Wi-Fi router, you are shopping for your sanity. The good news is, nowadays you can get a very capable router for around $100. If you already have a modem router combo and want to see the benefits of running a separate router for yourself, don't worry, you don't need to throw away your combo unit. Using what is called bridge mode, you can make the unit act as a modem only. Connect the separate router and you should see the benefits. Improved signal strength, faster transfer speeds, and features that can make your network more flexible and trouble free. For help with this kind of setup, feel free to give us a call. Another benefit to having a separate modem and router is that if you ever move or decide to switch internet providers, your router is yours to keep. All your network configurations, passwords, and sharing settings stay with you. We understand it can seem easy to have one unit do everything, and for some customers that works but having a separate modem and router will give you a better experience and let you get the most out of your internet connection. All in all, having separate devices is usually money well spent. If you're having issues with your internet connection, don't hesitate to call us or visit start.ca to send us an email. You can also get help on social media. Visit our website for those links. Thanks for watching. Check out our other videos, subscribe and keep up with the latest from start.ca.